All right, 616 the current time. If you've got the means, maybe you're considering a new car for Christmas. Well, there are certainly plenty of sales this time of year. Sometimes the final price of an automobile can include fees that leave you, well, scratching your head. But why? Well, here's our why guy. Finding the right car at the right price isn't always easy. After all of the haggling and negotiating, the final price might lead you to ask, what's that? There are taxes, vehicle registration, and title fees that probably won't surprise you. Then there are times when you wonder what you're getting for your money. These aren't uh, fees that necessarily have to be charged to the customer. Let's look at why there are fees tacked onto the price of a car that may leave you wondering. For customers, the biggest mystery may be the dealer fee, sometimes known as a documentation fee. It's how some dealerships charge customers for preparing and filing paperwork related to the sale of a vehicle. It can be anywhere from... 500 to a thousand dollars. Ryan Keaton is with Carvana, the online used car dealership that promises not to charge documentation fees. What's hard is it appears really late in the process. It's really kind of hard to walk away or, or say no at that point. Some states limit what the dealership can charge for a dealer or documentation fee, but most do not. You might see something called a destination fee. The National Association of Automobile Dealers says manufacturers will charge to ship a vehicle from the factory to the dealership. You could also see an advertising fee. That's your contribution to help pay for the dealership's commercials. According to Georgia's Department of Consumer Affairs, fees like this have to be in the advertised price. Keaton says it's worth your time to reach out to a dealership before you visit to ask what fees they charge. If it doesn't kind of feel right to you, you've done your research and like, hey, this stock fee doesn't feel right, you know, I don't necessarily want to pay it, um, you, you absolutely should, should push back. He's not alone in suggesting it should be part of the haggling that goes with buying a car. All right, if you have a question for Jerry Carnes, our Y guy, send it to us on Facebook, Twitter, or simply email it.